<laughs> also, a lot of people are new to the metaphysics, and uh, <clears throat> they notice a, a change in, in themselves and, and, and how people perceive them. And they're wondering, uh, how could they modify that life is emanating out of them so that they don't, they don't get uh, too much because of uh, for instance, they'll come back, all oh, people in my job asking me, what's going on with me? What's happening with me now? My family's wondering what's happening. And they're wondering what could they do to, to help uh, to, 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 to control it, to control it. That's the to thing. But then again, they will set up a form of resistance to the very thing that they wish to uh, operate in. Uh, that's a good discussion. Let's, 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 um, let's investigate the word control. You know, is there any such thing, you see? There may be points of understanding of what not to do, which could be another form of control, which is the ultimate form of control, not to participate, you see. But then, here you have this wonderful energy that's now growing inside of you, this awareness that has been awakened within you. And now, you feel that the need to control it, which is another form of ego that we exercise, even though we don't think it's ego because we haven't come to that point of understanding within ourselves as yet. To try to control anything means that you want to bring it into submission so that you could have the decision as to what it will be for you rather than becoming still and allow it to reveal what you need to see of it. You are dealing from the platonic form of interface with reality, which is the white man projects what he believes something to be upon the thing, and then he names the thing and says, this is what you will be. You're a whale, you're a bird, you're a, you're a ant, you're a this. So he goes around the world defining reality according to his limited matrix of understanding. Your ancestors, however, we waited until the thing identified itself to us, which then puts you into synchronicity with the mind that is behind the consciousness that you're trying to identify. By watching and observing what this particular mind is doing in the form of flesh, you are participating in the thing as it perceives itself, and then it will identify itself, and then you would not be at odds by placing a name between you and the experience that was trying to identify itself to you. So now you have this wonderful thing coming up inside of you, and the first thing you want to do is to control it so that you could name it. I got a key force or the energy and the chakra and the what do you call it. My advice to all you beautiful young brothers and sisters is to become still when you recognize that energy coming forward. In that stillness, the energy will identify itself. In that identification now, you do not try to own it or control it, but to ask it, invoke of it. What is it about the, my now, my coming into an understanding and perceiving of the thing that I have described or has described itself, what am I to now do with that recognition? Because to recognize the thing at its essential level is to recognize something within ourselves. And what have you recognized then? You can't recognize it by going around trying to overtly name it. You have to recognize it by becoming still. How has it communicated to your thoughts? Has all of your old thoughts about your perceiving and controlling things entered into the experience so that now you got old past experiences saturating and confusing a new experience? You see. So the need to understand and control something immediately is fear. That's you seeing something that you don't understand, so you wish to conquer it, own it, so that you will not fear it. And it is fear that motivates most of us right now. This whole time before the great cleansing is about fear. It's about getting rid of the fear factor within us so that you will understand that even if you get caught a bullet in the head, 
Or you jump off the street and you get hit by a truck and you're dead. It is not the ending. Some of us will lament because we've trained our, 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 um, we've trained our atoms and our molecules to miss somebody that we've grown accustomed to, somebody who we've interfaced with, exchanged energies with. That then becomes a point of addiction. It's a comfort for the physical flesh, a place of security, something that my mind can go to and feel at rest with. We miss that feeling, but it is an illusion. It is you participating in the illusion that the four elements give to your senses as a form of reality. In reality, the part that is listening to me is the only reality. The part that does not die, the part that does not suffer, the part that endures beyond the flesh, the part that carries the karma to the next, to the next phase. Whether you, now, the idea is to disengage yourself from certain harmonics. And in disengaging yourself from those harmonics, from those energies, do you cleanse the soul of having to come back or creating a gravity point for you to come back into the flesh? You purge yourself of fear and the signatures and all of the, uh, the templates that you've put onto your soul that create the conditions for you to come back again. So. Fear not the wonderful energies that you all are now participating in. This is a wondrous time. I mean, you know, 30 years ago, I was talking to myself. Now you all can actually talk to each other. You know, this is beautiful. This is a wonderful time for young people to come together because now a whole new door of awareness is opened up. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up one day permeating the music soon. It's going to permeate the classroom. See, it's going to permeate a time when y'all be throwing down, I mean, dancing and getting crazy, and then all of a sudden, stop, conscious moment. Music stops, everybody falls into a meditative state, and you all go into some kind of inductive learning right there on the spot. But you all got consciousness beaming through you. And I'm not talking about that big brother shit that they're going to be emanating through your music or through your TV and through everything else. I'm talking about you just interfacing with the reality. That'll be the only high for the next century.